This is the story of a truly great mosque. Welcome back to Humankind Game, where two new wonders were introduced as part of the Cultures of Africa DLC. The Great Zimbabwe was first. It's actually free. You don't need to buy the DLC at all. You just need to link your Steam account to a Games Together account and you can download it for free in-game. But this video is not about that great wonder, it's actually about the other great wonder, the one that's included in the paid Cultures of Africa DLC. It's the Great Mosque. I believe the mosque could very well be the most powerful wonder, potentially game-breaking, and I'm going to show you why. It's not even because of its plus 5% fame gain bonus multiplier on the Empire. That is its main ability that you can see here in the wonder screen, and it's a fairly impressive one, but what I'm more interested is in its infrastructure, in its city festival or ceremony that it provides. We'll refer to it as the crepe for the rest of this video. It provides a plus 2% additional fame multiplier on top of the existing per number of the same public ceremony on Empire. I found this to be worded a little bit confusingly, and I have to be honest, to take you on the journey with me, it sent me in a crazy frenzy where I went around my empire, jumped from city to city, loading up feasts and spending big gold on them. Seriously, I went wild. Look at me go. Everywhere. I thought, okay, this thing is going to buff me per feast. So I need to build as many feasts as I can, and then I'll get plus 2% per feast. But actually, that's not it at all. And when I then built on this beautiful great mosque, another one of its own infrastructure, its own ceremony, the crepe improvement, I took a look at my fame and realized that this was providing me the plus 2%. It's not per additional festival or feast, it's this infrastructure. You need to build this one again and again and again, and every time you build it, I believe you can get extra fame. So stop with your crazy feast fiesta, with your festival, stop throwing people out the window. No, 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 no. The rest of these public ceremonies do not matter at all. If you're not a moron like me, you might have already clicked to that already, but I thought it was worth highlighting. What we're really after here is these crepes. Take a look. After I built a few more, now a star that was providing 100 fame is providing 109. It's a 9% bonus because I built the Wonder and then I built two of the crate infrastructures on top. That's 5% with an additional 2% and an additional 2. 5 plus 2 plus 2 is 9. But I didn't want to stop there. So I started expelling some population and trying to think about other ways that I could build as many of these crepe public ceremonies, Wonder improvements, whatever you want to call them as possible, to try and get this number as high as I possibly could. Now, after my third infrastructural or ceremonial improvement, I'm at 111. Here are some tips and tricks to really prove that humankind is a perfectly balanced game. First off, send your troops that are standing around and get them to chop down trees in the area. That will send infrastructure back to the main city. Secondly, we know that we can buy more of these ceremonies, so it's time to take a look at the other cities around your empire and I decided to start queuing up some market quarters because I had particularly good ones that were providing me a lot of money. We'll also use the Labour Charter, or I should say not use Labour Charter. Do not research Encyclopedia. We want to keep expelling population if we can, or sending population out of the city, whatever you want to call it, to build more of these improvements. And so that is what I set about. Make as much money as possible. Build as many of these market quarters across all of my other cities, right? Literally everywhere. Watch me go. Each one's providing about 20 gold. My hope here is to surge my capital up from around 2,000 gold per turn closer to 10,000 so that these crepes can continue to be pushed out at an incredibly powerful and hopefully increasing level. You'll see here sometimes it's just off. So I'll pew, shoot six people out of the city to complete it and then Next turn, you guessed it, loading up another one of these public ceremonies. We're going to keep going though, we're not stopping there. You may have noticed a couple of other things have changed to my city as we've gone through and started to build more of these crepes. Take a look at how many people are in it and how wide it is. You'll see I've started to merge my cities together because, and I have to admit on accident, I discovered another way to make the infrastructures even cheaper still. And actually it's quite straightforward, and we knew this already from playing through Humankind. 
when you merge cities together, and that's what I've done here to create a 309 population crepes are us city, it changes the cost of public ceremonies and infrastructures. I was merging cities together that were quite developed, that had very similar levels of infrastructure, but regardless, merging them together reduced the cost of my improvement. So what did I do? Slowly over time, while also trading a little bit on the sides when I felt like it to pick up a bit of extra cash, I continued to merge cities onto the capital and I continued to build even more of these crepes. Although you'll note it does get a little bit challenging, especially when you expel your population. Here you can see I'm having to make adjustments on the fly to try and fix things after firing literally 150 population out of the city to build my final crepe. I can't stress enough all of the different elements that have played a part in this. Here are some more. Firstly, as I've already covered, you will need military architecture. This gives you the ability to merge several cities into one. Nextly, we can actually get a little bit more wild still with some civics on the civic tree. Nuclear disarmament, for example, gives you an additional plus 10% fame gain bonus multiplier. Now, these aren't the only ways to do it, but these are some of the easier ones, so you might be able to pick these up as well. There's another civic that provides a really whopping bonus. I've already covered it in another video, which you can see here. It's foreign customs, and it provides plus 100%, that's double fame earned from your Aesthete era stars. You can potentially get pretty freaking wild here. We're talking Aesthete era stars of over 2000 fame, potentially, in some cases. Anyway, it all comes together to form a ludicrous amount of fame generation if you can get it online quickly enough. My mistake was I didn't do it until the very last era, which turned out to provide me more fame than all other eras before it combined, basically. This golden era, look at this. A basic second tier star is now yielding me 314 fame. And like I say, this isn't even me pushing it to the limits. I didn't even have that other civic I was talking about before. And look at the power that a few crepes can provide. However, it's also important to note that it's not just your famed stars, but also the contemporary era tech tree, where you'll really see all of these yields play out. As you scroll toward the back, you'll notice that these improvements on these technologies that usually provide 300 fame are now providing me a whopping 471. And again, I haven't min-maxed this to the max. This was just a relatively normal playthrough that snowballed into something wild. 471 fame instead of 300, that is well over a 50% boost. And like I say, this was on a fast game. If you're playing this on endless speed and really aligning the right things and thinking about this from the start, I think you could double your fame quite comfortably. In fact, I've ran the numbers on it and it's entirely and easily possible if you have enough turns to pull it off. This was a fast game, a normal game will go from 150 to 300 turns, and I'm sure this bad boy will deliver. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next Humankind video.